update on the gill flute situation. This tank is now empty completely. Um, they've had a normal dose of fluke solve. A week later, they've had a double dose of fluke solve. And yesterday, they had a um, Isha GDX, which is also Prezi Quantel, at the recommended dose. So, three lots of, I think, essentially Prezi Quantel. And still a few problems, I think. Um, we're seeing this fidgeting, you can see it there. Flicking the fins. Um, there he goes again. So something still not quite right. Had a microscope on here, seen a few odd things in there as well. So maybe it's not just flukes. Um, I think one good way to check is how fast they're breathing. One good thing though, I mean this one looks as though he hasn't eaten for a very long time. After the double dose of um, fluke solve, he's actually started eating and he's got some colour back. He was dark, so that's a good sign. Still a few issues though. There's one at the back there who is not looking as good. He's off balance. All the others look really good. They're fine. There's just this odd bit of fidgeting. For once, everyone is eating. That's never happened before, but they are all eating. Um, so that's good. So I think we'll carry on with the recommendation of six weeks worth of fluke treatments. And then after that, see where we're at. But they're, they're pairing up as well as having all these problems so suggest some of them are happy and suggest some of them aren't bothered by whatever's in there um, some of the microscope stuff did show these odd looking worms which weren't flukes so need to work out what that is but it's very clean there's lots of water changes going on there's a few bits floating around because they've just been these little ones have been fed but there's a ton of air going, just because of all the meds going in there. I don't know what's going to happen. Let's see. But most of them are looking good. And this empty tank layout, they're very active and swimming around like never before. So they're in the full flow of that filter as well. You can see how fast the water moves. Um, and they're not bothered by that. So I think I've just caused myself more questions than I had before I started. But I've learned quite a bit about the fluke stuff. Um, the medicine stays in the tank for about 30 days, but obviously your water changing twice a week, so the concentration of it falls, so I think that's why you have to replace it. Um, the fluke will lay an egg. That can hatch, I think, within three days, and then it's got something like 10 hours to find a fish to hook onto. So it's a fast turnover at this temperature of fluke baby making, um, which I think is a problem. But I think with that medicine persisting in there, they surely have to at least cut the numbers or give up. But there's definitely some other issue with some kind of, maybe it's a swim bladder thing, I don't know. But he is not happy at all, despite the medication, um, when everyone else is. So I don't quite know where that leaves me. We will keep trying to keep all of these happy. Most of them are, some of them aren't, and are still not entirely sure why. So um, watch this space. Again, they'll have a treatment on Tuesday and then another two after that. But since yesterday's go with the Isha GDEX, there's flicking going on. And that's the first time I've seen that. So, the best treatment so far was the double dose of fluke solve, and I think I'm going to do that again next week. Um, and fingers crossed, all of these will be happy. Um, but as you can see, most of them, they do really well. But a bit of flicking. We'll keep you updated. Give us a subscribe. Ask us some questions. I'm learning too. I'm just trying to share what works. And so far, emptying out all the gravel plants, decor, and giving it a double dose really made a difference. This week it feels like something's come back and yesterday's dose wasn't quite as good, but I could be wrong. We'll keep watching.